Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. We had Kalani Jordan and Sol Ruka for the women's North American title. And uh, this was a very, very heavily choreographed a gymnastics display that was uh, disguised as a wrestling match or vice versa. And, I mean, the crowd got into it because they just did one crazy flip after another. There were tornillos. There were spots where they just started doing flips and handsprings and, you know, reverse Frankensteiners and acais and running moonsaults. And, and finally there at the end, uh, Kalani avoided the soul snatcher, cradled her for two, and then gave her a middle rope Frankensteiner and a split-legged moonsault for the pin. So Kalani retains the women's North American title. Yeah, I um, both of these women um, have a shot to be real superstars because they are really freaky athletes. They're really great at that. Um, it was an athletic display. It was not a wrestling match. It was uh, It was almost weird to me. Um, to watch it because it's kind of like you never see a match like this in, in anywhere, really. You know where they're just out there. It's like it's like you're out there trying to like uh, just you know um, just do. It, it was it, like an like, exhibition. Here's a bunch of was, cool moves. Yeah, and and you know, here, and the one thing I have to say about it is, like like in a sense, when I was watching it, I'm going like, you know, this is this is. Not good, but the crowd liked it, and you know I think the crowd's going to like anything, and the moves were fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. They're 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 great athletes. When they both have more, you know, if they were in with other people, I think that you know, like experienced people, I think I think that was maybe the issue is you had two people with with limited experience who are both great gymnasts, and this is what you came up with. Um, if they were in with other people who were experienced at right, making a wrestling match, that the gymnastics ability of either of them, you know, would really take them a, a long way. And I think you never know, but I like I, I, I think both of them. I think Kalani Jordan's got like um, a real babyface um, uh, persona about her that I think can do pretty well um, to go along with a great athletic ability. And Sol Ruka has, has a lot going for her. Um, it's just a question of, you know, getting the ring time and getting the experience and everything like that. Um, I think some people really loved this match. Um, oh, some people definitely did. Some people yeah. definitely did. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're just if you're just into cool moves, I mean, this, is, this is like, um, you know, watching a Will Ospreay match. You know, I mean, as far as just cool moves. I mean, they were, they were just nothing but cool moves. But between the cool moves, it was it wasn't even like average between the two moves. Between the cool moves, and it was it was, um, yeah. It was, it, you know, it's if you're just in the cool moves, this match was, was this match was was had them in spades, and and they will. I think they're both with with experience. They're both going to be. They they could both be superstars. Really well to your point, forward. I would say that I think that I've enjoyed every single solitary Kalani Jordan match she's ever had more than this one, because she's almost always I, in there with somebody that can carry I her. Would, I, would, and... I, I, I would I would agree with you, but from I would say that I enjoyed every Kalani Jordan match I've seen more than this one too. But when it comes to showing potential, and when it comes to just moves, this is her best match. When it just comes to moves. Well, I mean, there's a lot more to wrestling than just moves. Well, so. no doubt. But to some to some people, obviously, to this crowd, to this crowd, I think that they perform better for this crowd than a normal wrestling match because this crowd loved them. So, you know, every crowd's different. And, I mean, I think that there are a lot of crowds. I think that a lot of crowds this match would not have worked with. But for this crowd, um, they wanted, you know, it was something different. It was different from the other matches, and it, it worked for the crowd. I don't think it was a great pro wrestling match or anything like that, but um, I do think they're both going to be stars. So then we had the uh, Axiom and Nathan Frazier versus Chase U match for the NXT Tag Team titles. I thought this match was awesome. I thought it was the best match on the show. I thought bell to bell, like work-wise, I thought this was the best thing on the show. And well, that's Nathan, Nathan Frazier's 
fantastic. Well, exactly. him and Axiom were great. Everybody, everybody did what they were great at. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, Duke yeah. made his Duke, great Duke got, comeback. Did his, did, did his hot tag. And, He's always got a great hot well tag. Chase, yeah. you did a great job selling to set up the hot tag because they went absolutely nuts for the tag. Axiom and Nathan Frazier just did a great job with everything they do, which is pretty much everything. And they did a spot near the end where Axiom and Duke are on the top rope. Axiom hits him with a top rope Spanish fly. Frazier comes off the top with a Phoenix splash. Everybody thinks it's over. But Chase not only breaks it up, but in breaking it up, he hits Axiom with a Canadian Destroyer, and this place just melted down for that spot. That, so, was, uh, that was really, like, the last three minutes of this match were tremendous. I mean, the whole match was good, but the last few minutes um, were, were, were tremendous. I mean, this this... I would say that as a wrestling match on the two WWE shows, this was the best wrestling match on the two shows. Um, yes, it was better. Than, it was better than anything last night because just. Um, but that that Nathan Frazier is really special. You know, I mean, that's the one thing. Like he's, you know, he 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 he's so fast, which is really good. But everything he does looks fantastic. It's not like it's like he's he's so fast, but he's not too fast, in the sense that because sometimes when guys go so fast, it doesn't work. You know what I mean? And for him, it's like it always seems to work. And Axiom is just Axiom, just a hell of a worker. He really, you know, it's like he just he's just got the knack to do of doing the of doing the right thing at the right time and everything looking good. I mean, he's just he's got the guy's got some real instincts. You know, when it comes to and and great athletic ability, you know, you know his problem is, if you know he's a small guy, and in WWE main roster that that can limit you even now, but um, yeah, these guys are a super team. They really are. They should keep them together. But you know, it's like, you know, one of the things now is is there's so much talent in wrestling. I mean, and like, like these guys are good, but you know, look how good Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate are. And you know they can't even you know they 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 don't even seem to get any um, traction or anything, but they're absolutely fantastic, and that's what my my fear of with these guys is that they're so freaking great, but but um, are they going to go to the main roster and win the tag team titles? And, and it's like I don't feel it, but you know maybe I'm wrong. Well, Frazier accidentally superheated Axiom twice, so they're still teasing the breakup of this team. And then he got a blind tag, hit Chase with the combo, superplex, Falcon Arrow, kick to the head. Axiom hit the golden ratio, got the pin. Great. Great match. Great. Okay, so this is one of those things. If they split these two up, I think Nathan Frazier will still make it. But I think that Axiom, as a single, um, as great as he is, I think that he'll get lost. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sikoa, or whatever his last name is. Paul Paul Newman is watching this match, <laughs> and he's not Excuse on Cody's me? side. <laughs> What's the matter? Absolutely nothing. Everything's so, great. You know, Cody did say that he was looking for a manager. I think him and Paul Newman would be a... <laughs> what a handsome pair. <laughs> yeah. A dashing duo. That guy's a movie star, isn't he? Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today, and don't miss out.